guys, Frenchie here. It feels like it's been forever. If you're a regular, welcome back. If you're new, Jumbo. Mean girls? No? Okay, well it means hello in Swahili. Welcome to the Social Media Roundup, where we take a quick glimpse at all of your photos, read your captions, and attempt to pronounce your complicated usernames. Well, let's get started. Last week was the 50th in the West withdrawals episode, and can you believe we're still not over it? Literally! <laughs> People are still listening to the soundtrack and watching the play in its entirety, over and over and over. Well, I think you guys have memorized all the lyrics already. It's a good thing we have the developing technology. Am I right? Anyway, Let's start with Jensen D. She gives us a little peek inside Southwest California's cast party. She writes, Today marks two weeks since the 50th celebration in Sacramento. It's been one amazing journey and a fun-filled evening closing it off with these people. I hope to keep this fire of faith fueling every day of my life. Salamat akoy ligtas. Same girl, same. Next, we have Luffy, who was happy to be surrounded with her Pacific Northwest family at their cast party. She says, my other family, when you work with people that overflow with so much love and soul, you can't help but do everything in your power to be with them. I've always said, stay humble, stay grateful, stay beautiful. Each one of them embody that. So happy to be able to relive what we worked so hard for. Farron Mabrizi posted these photos from Northeast California's cast party and wait, is that the Ka Pablo? And look at that 50th seal. That's so cool. It's huge. I hope we get to see it in the next big 50th event that will be happening this year. Northwest had a cast party too, equipped with a taco bar, but there were no pictures of that because everyone ate it all. Instead, Nizel Ray posts this picture of her and her NWC fam and says, Hanggang kamatayan. Lastly, we have SVRBLK777, who shares a video of this little cutie singing, Hindi ka pababayaan ng Diyos. Everybody, shh, I want to hear this. So cute! <laughs> this past Saturday, August 18th, our dearest executive minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, visited the District of Mountain States to officiate the special worship service and dedication for the House of Worship in Henderson, Nevada. Jilly Bini shares this beautiful picture of the forefront of the chapel and writes, I cannot find the words to express just how thankful I am for today. For many years, we have prayed and prayed to have a chapel of our own. And today, God answered our prayers. We also have this post from Boss Mama Ro and her beautiful family. She says, so much to be thankful for. Honestly, days like this are what we cherish the most. Thankful to share these moments together as a family. Amongst the Pine shares these pictures and writes, Words cannot begin to express how much joy and love is in my heart, knowing that we have our own home now. Years and years of panata every night, and God truly has blessed Henderson with this place. Yet another source of inspiration. Michelle Perillia writes, Months of waiting turned into years, and though it was difficult to drive to Vegas for worship services, practices, and activities, our patience and sacrifices were worth it in the end. It was such a humbling experience to have Cod Wardo visit us. We finally have a beautiful chapel to call home. Salamat po ama. KV Magno, an extremely active member of the Bureau in the District of Mountain States, shares these pictures with her gorgeous families, Bureau and Biological, who were all able to perform together. Back in California, the San Ramon Extension celebrated their second year anniversary this weekend. Melanie writes, small in number, but abundant in blessings always. Here's to our extension's second year anniversary. May God always bless the future that lies ahead of us. 
12,020 kilometers away in Liverpool, Australia, Armix posts this photo after the inaugural worship service in the local congregation of Campbell Town. Last but certainly not least, the District of Mid-Atlantic held an in-concert at the Lincoln Memorial. That's really cool. I know you want to check it out, so let's start. John Leoncio writes, Blessed to be a part of the Nova Acapella group. It was so much fun being able to sing in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Shout out to those who came out to support this activity. Joy and Frank Frank.Quincy drove three hours to witness this event with their family. Inspiring music performed by our talented brethren, PBTV. As we close off this week's episode, we'll leave you with some more really cool photos from CFO.MidAtlantic. But before you go, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to be featured, use the usual hashtags. And if you're feeling generous, share this post with everyone you love or the people that follow you on social media. See you next time, friends. Bye.